Hi everyone, Alex Roy here again, realtor and uh, your local expert in Eastside Portland, here today with a designer, fabulous designer, and author of the book, The Survival Guide Home Remodeling, Diane Plessett. Hi Dan. Hi there. This is part two in our series, talking about interior design. So Diane, why hire a designer? What is the importance there? Well, there are different levels of designer. Mm -hmm. I happen to be a certified master kitchen bath designer. A certified kitchen bath right. designer. Right. Yeah. As well as a certified aging in place specialist. Excellent. And a certified interior designer. But what designers bring to project, if they really care about their clients, is options. Mm -hmm. Not to spend their money, but to get them to think about something else. I see. It's like, it was so logical to me as a designer mm -hmm. to remove the second doorway to the dining room and put in a pass-through in this kitchen that would give them more countertop space yeah. and more functionality. Mm -hmm. And they hadn't thought about that. Right. So the idea is there, it hasn't occurred to them, and... I imagine you can always just tell them the idea, but that doesn't mean it's going to resonate with them. Maybe you have to draw it out a little bit. Yes. What I did with this couple is I did perspectives. Mm. Multiple perspectives of their kitchen showing what it would look like and talking with them about it, how it would function. Mm. Painting a word picture so they could really understand the advantages of taking out a doorway and replacing it with a pass-through. Absolutely. And so some time and patience goes a long way in this job. Yeah, it does. Yeah. But it doesn't take that long. I like to meet at least weekly with my clients so mm -hmm. we keep the momentum going. Right, right. Not just one long sit down, a bunch of little ones, keep the momentum going. Exactly. Keep going. exactly. Excellent. So... Uh, when people are maybe starting to consider doing a remodel in their home, they're starting to feel that something's got to change here. They could start going and looking at uh, various ideas. They can go to Ikea and Home Depot and check out materials. But really, at what stage should they come and talk to a designer? At the very beginning. At the beginning. At the Why? very beginning. Because that way we can guide them and help them prevent them from wasting their time mm. and wasting their money. Right, two big things two right big there. Things. Normally, when people are talking about doing a kitchen or a bathroom, Alex, mm -hmm. the first thing they do is go look at tile. Yes, that's what I would want to do. Tiles, yes, okay? yeah. Okay. I can totally understand that. No, 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 no. You start with the architectural things first. If there are new windows, new doors, whatever, mm -hmm. you start with that. Mm -hmm. And the tile, the countertops, the flooring are all finished surfaces. Mm -hmm. So first, in a kitchen, comes the appliances. Okay, they've got to be there. They've got to be there. Right. And the cabinets have to go around the appliances. Of course, yeah. And the, the appliances determine the function of the kitchen. Likewise, in a bathroom, right. plumbing fixtures have to be number one. Of course. And mm. way down the line is the finished surfaces. Right. The tiles, the countertops. Exactly. Those can be, always be put in at another time. Exactly, yeah. exactly. And that's like what I said before. Function, safety, then aesthetics. I love it. That is a great tip. That is a great tip. Any final tip uh, for today in this segment? Just to think about what you want. Make a list. Mm. Make a list of everything you want to include. Start out just pulling out all the stops. Everything you want to include. Right. You can always eliminate things that are either too expensive or not necessary. Right. But it's hard to add them in after the fact. So just brainstorm, get it all out there. Exactly. What is the total wish list? Exactly. And in my book, I have multiple checklists that people can use with priorities. Excellent. So that they can use that to help them determine, well, what do we really want in our kitchen or bathroom or home or whatever? Excellent. I love it. Thanks so much, Anne. You're welcome. It's my pleasure. Well, thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Alex Roy, your trusted realtor in uh, Eastside Portland, reminding you that you can get Diane's book, A Survival Guide, Home Remodeling, on Amazon. So look it up today. It's a great book. 
And if you're wondering how much your home is worth, don't forget, you can just call or email me to schedule your free home pricing evaluation. Something I love to do for anyone who's thinking of selling. Catch you later.